We're taking action for you tonight with a warning about a pop popular and powerful antibiotic. Tens of thousands of patients across the country, including some right here in the Bay Area, report devastating side effects and in some cases death. Taking action for you, reporter Jackie Calloway went to both the government and to one of the largest drug makers in the country to find out what is being done about it. Up until last September, Nancy Garlow held down a job and spent her weekends diving for shark's teeth. One day we went down and I couldn't scuba dive because I had the infection. A common urinary tract infection sent this Largo resident to a doctor in the fall. He prescribed one of the popular antibiotics in a group known as fluoroquinolones. My body seemed to just completely slow down. I was like I could barely walk. By day five, Nancy could barely move. She claims she read the drug insert, but only after side effects hit. She says no one mentioned these pills carry a black box warning, the FDA's strongest regarding serious nerve damage and debilitating pain. It was from the ankle all the way down to the bottom of my feet turned ice cold, ice cold, but they were burning on the inside. Dr. Susan Tenenbaum says she spent the last 12 months putting her life back together. There was nothing said. A bout of bronchitis led to a prescription for another popular fluoroquinolone, levofloxacin, whose brand name is Levaquin. On day seven, I woke up and I was in so much pain everywhere. I just, yeah, I felt like I was dying, and that lasted months and months. Dr. Charles Bennett heads up South Carolina's drug watchdog agency. My concern is, based on numbers and based on reading and thinking about the side effect here, it's probably more common than it is uncommon. FDA documents show they've received 1,200 reported deaths related to Levaquin and its generic levofloxacin between 1997 and 2012. Only 1% of any side effects are reported to the FDA. Dr. Bennett is concerned about the entire family of fluoroquinolones. There are six in all. Last summer, he filed a petition with the FDA for stronger warnings about more of Levaquin's side effects, including those on the brain. The FDA upgraded its nerve damage warning in 2013. Dr. Susan Tenenbaum says she is proof it's not enough. I think every single person along the line should have said something. Everyone. I asked the FDA about the petition, and they responded via email. The FDA takes concerns raised about safety of approved drugs very seriously, and we are considering the matters raised by the petition and giving it our careful attention. I mean, I wouldn't wish this on anybody in the world. Nancy Garlow has hired an attorney, and we contacted Johnson & Johnson. They say they monitor the safety of all of their medicines, and they incorporate new data into their labels so that both doctors and patients can make informed choices. And we've posted Johnson & Johnson's entire statement on our website. Go to abcactionnews.com. I'm Jackie Calloway, taking action for you.